Shalom and welcome to Tzimah Satorah. This, this year is entitled in memory of Ethna Ellis, the sister, our beloved member, Alan Wedcliff. She passed away in South Africa a few days ago, being buried today on Tisha B'Av. So the last few days, what was the status of Alan? Normally between death and burial, a relative is considered an onain. But he is a little bit different. Death was a few days ago in South Africa, and the preparations were being done there. And our son, he should live and be well, was taking care of the arrangements. So Alan is not in the same country, the same town, and really the burden and the involvement is not on him. It's it's on someone else. So there's Machlok's going back almost seven, eight hundred years between Tom and Rush. Rush says, no, once a person is a relative, it doesn't matter where he is around the world, he or she is an onane. Rabbi Tom says, no, it depends on the involvement. A person in, the, in another city, he's not called, or she is not called, meito muta lefanav. It's Machlokas 800 years ago. Shochanav Patzkans like the Rosh, that no matter what, a person is an onane. The Shach brings down the Bach, who says, Go, goes like Rabbi Tom, that depends. If you're not involved, you are not an onane. So the Rosh says, he is an onane. Shochanav says, an onane. Others say not. The specific case, I told Alan that for so many days that he would not be considered an onain, and therefore he only becomes aninut today on Tisha B'Av when the flight landed a few hours ago. And it's a shem, we should, uh, memory should always be for inspiration and a blessing, and Alan, the family, should have nahamah.